Welcome to a scenic gravel pit on the outskirts of Winnipeg, Manitoba. In the hallowed halls of Canadian academia, there is one scientist who has dedicated his considerable talents to solving that most Canadian problem. What to do if you find yourself behind the wheel of a car that just happens to be underwater. Gordon Giesbrecht. You may remember him as Dr. Popsicle. This week, I join the good doctor and do my part for humanity by signing on to become a dunk test dummy. And Dr. Giesbrecht joins me now. Hello, doctor. How are you? Good morning. How are you, Rick? Very good. Good to see you again. It is great to have you back. Kind of good to see you again. Of course, uh, for those of you who may not remember, we met the good doctor a couple of years ago. Yep. At yeah, the yeah. University of Manitoba. I went there. You were doing work at the time, how to deal with hypothermia, what to do if you fall through the ice, which Canadians are wont to do sometimes. Yeah. And you intentionally freeze people, basically. Yeah. If you could quickly get to some place. I think my penis up. is actually inverted. <laughs> I mean, I've had shrinkage before, but I think this is this has gone beyond shrinkage. Now, we're obviously not studying hypothermia now because it's, well, how warm is it here today? Or shall I say, how cold? Shall well, I, I haven't measured the water temperature. It is cool, but this is not about cold water. It's about what happens if your vehicle ends up in water. That's what we're doing here today. Doctor, what do we have here? Well, this is a car that we're going to break the windows in. Yes, we are. No, not yet. Not no? Yet. We want people to open the windows to get out. Yes. If you have manual windows, those will work really well. No one, no one has manual windows. Right. Electric windows might work for a few seconds. Uh, if you don't do it quick enough, they'll short out and they won't work. Right. But still, your best way is out a window. You know, everybody thinks it's pretty easy to kick a window yes. open, so why don't you give yes. it a shot? Okay. Kick it! Use both feet! Have a tantrum on it. There you go. Okay. So that would be failure. Well, everybody thinks you can kick it, but there is a much easier way. <laughs> uh, it's a center punch. A center punch. And all you do is push it against the window, like that. Yeah. And as you can see, it works very well. Where can you buy these? You can buy them at any safety, uh, safety store. <laughs> that is awesome. There is a way to kick a window if you have to. And that is to kick it near the front where the hinges are. Oh, I kicked here. Are we gonna take this car in the water? I have another car for you. Two cars, it's a good week. So we're really doing this. We're absolutely doing it. Feels that. like we're stealing it. You know, I'm still not entirely clear what we're doing. I need an instruction. Seatbelts, windows, children, out. As Soon as we hit the water, get your seatbelt off, get your window open because that's how you're going to get out of this vehicle. Forget about the door. Very difficult to open if not. Because people don't think of the window as an, a place to exit the car. No, you get in. Unless you grew up on the Dukes of Hazzard. Seatbelts, windows, children. Out. Out. That was it. I knew, I knew I forgot one. Out. This car is going to sink. Right. But we're going to get out the way you're supposed to get out. Before it sinks. Because we're saying, what are those words again? Caution, no. protection. Stop, drop, roll. Okay, right. windows up. That looks like a lake, but the GPS says it's a road. <laughs> okay. Oh my. Oh look. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. We're in the water. Okay. Seat this belt is up. a seatbelt seat up. Off. Yes. Seatbelt. Get windows. on the phone. Windows. Windows. Now. Get off the phone. Okay. Yeah. Windows. Yeah. Get out. Club. Okay. Just get out. Just get out. Just get out. <laughs> like, like this. Huh. Huh. Oh. Oh. That's cold. You actually had to get down. You don't have a lot of time before that car starts to go under, do you? Oh. Would it be rude to ask one of the ambulances to go for Tim Hortons? <laughs> do we need all three here? So we did the right thing. Yeah, we did. And so now we're going to do the Mercer way, which is the wrong way, and let the vehicle actually go down. And You've seen the show. <laughs> How long will it take the car to fill up? About 60 seconds to 120 seconds. That's like, um, that's like one to two minutes. <laughs> oh, no, Timmy, the bridge is out. The bridge is out. Hey, take your seatbelt off, calm. So we've had lots of time. Yeah. And we could open the door now, but for whatever reason, many people wait because they've been told to have to wait. Now the water's coming right. in quite quickly. No, I know. It's like, a, it's like okay. an episode of Get Smart. Okay. <laughs> Try and open your door. Open the door. 
So now you can see we've got oh, water baby. up here. The window won't go down. Okay. <laughs> All right, get in the back seat. Okay. Um, you naturally will end up going to the back seat, but please go because oh, I, I have to go too. Okay, right. Okay. Okay, now the car is filling up here. No, we're in trouble. Where do you want to get? Oh, what about? Okay. Are we done now? Well, we have one more trial we can oh, do good. with you. Good. So, class, we are showing that the only way to open a door once underwater is only when the car is entirely filled with water. Correct? And the only way that a human usually can pull that off is if he has a scuba tank. Right. Give her, give her, give her, give her! Oh, here we go again. Okay, here we are. Seat belts, seat belts. Seat belts. See, I remembered. Good. Seat belts. There we go. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is a sight you do not want to see. See, the, the roof is just caved in. Why is that caving in? Why is that? It's just pressure of the water, right? Right. I'm glad you came up. Dr. Popsicle, thank you very much. And let that be a lesson to you, Canada. Never leave your homes.